The Owen James Report is brought to you by Burita, making money work for you. True or false? Two thousand dollars can make your child's future brighter. True. Oh. That's right. By investing as little as two thousand dollars per month in the Barita Money Market Fund, you can be financially ready to help your child get the education needed for a brighter future. Start early, and you can put aside any amount you're comfortable with. Take my advice. Call Barita Investments today. The Barita Money Market Fund. Your tuition builder. Good evening, this is the Owen James Report. Well, yesterday we broke the news about Jamaica's fall in the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business Index. Now, today we begin the OGR with an expression of hope from a local banker. A young commercial bank executive says Jamaica's biggest risk is a negative mindset and despite negative consumer and business outlooks, there are opportunities to move forward. That banker, Philip Armstrong, the managing director of Sagicor Bank, was addressing a solutions-oriented small business luncheon entitled Real Business, Real Solutions. I think the biggest risk, though, however, um, to our businesses um, is, that we, is that we need to plan and we need to ensure that we plan and we need to ensure that we change our mindset from that, from that negative mindset that has occurred or that we see reflected in, in the consumer, in, in the business confidence. And, and plan because I see that as, as your biggest risk. I mean, when I look, when I look forward, I'm, I'm, I'm making assumptions that we're going to get past this very difficult thir 2013, 2014. And I'd like to encourage all of you to, to start planning for the future because if you don't, if you don't, and you have a competitor that does, when we eventually turn the corner and, and the economy starts to improve, you'll be behind. On the foreign exchange market, the Jamaican dollar had mixed fortunes against the three regularly traded foreign currencies today. It held firm against the benchmark American dollar, weakened against the Canadian dollar, but strengthened against sterling. Here are today's numbers. The greenback held firm at $105.04 Jamaican, whilst the Canadian dollar strengthened by $1.23 Jamaican to close at an average selling rate of $102.02. .02. However, sterling weakened by 82 Jamaican cents to close at $169.83. News on the Jamaican stock market now and on a day of moderate activity falls by Scotia Group and Sagicor Life Jamaica mainly triggered declines in the indices. Just over 2.7 million shares changed hands and the preference stock proven investments 8% accounted for almost a half of business. 24 stocks traded with 2 advancing, 8 declining and 14 holding firm. Brewery company DNG, which is scheduled to hold its annual general meeting on Thursday, November 1, is considering payment of a first dividend for the financial year 2013-2014. Amidst a challenging economic period, DNG's net profit of $1.2 billion this year was only down 1% and this was mainly due to higher effective tax rates. DNG's revenues fell by 3% to $12.7 billion compared to 2012 and net sales fell by 6% to $10.3 billion within the same period. Now finally, Consumer confidence has not only slumped in Jamaica, but also amongst our giant trading partner, the United States, too. The Washington-based conference board says consumer confidence in the United States has slumped to a two-year low as the recent budget quarrel and debt ceiling negotiations in Washington took a toll on outlooks. The conference board's consumer index slumped to 71.2 from a revised figure of 80.2 in September. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by Burita, making money work for you.